Hello everyone. Today I am back with a new style of background uh, creation in Blender 3.0 and uh, let's create today a daily use product, one of our daily use products. So let's see how we can manage to present it in a, as a background or as a wallpaper. So first of all, let's set up our scene. Friends, if you are not able to understand few points, few tips in while tutorial, I will suggest before that or to understand whole video, I will suggest that you first follow the cursor, see what actions are going on, see how what click and what right click and what type of options have been done for the each and every action inside the scene of Blender. So do follow the cursor and also try to understand. Uh, I will be, I will make myself as much as with easy explanation because myself I need, while I learn, I need a simple explanation. Uh, I don't want any a whole sentence filled with big words. I need simple simple explanation where I can focus what is going on and I can also hear what has been said. So and always I try to create everything in a simpler way. There are many shortcuts, there are many presets, add-ons, many things. But what if we simplify those things for these beginners and the simple starting people, those who are just entered in the career in, in this field and they are looking for uh, a, a start with a uh, with a light pace, then I suggest try to do or try your daily creations in a simpler way in uh, what I say uh, use models like simple uh, very simple or uh, primitive models create something from that it's not necessary you should create always abstract or it's not necessary you should create some uh, always uh, interior or anything related everything is necessary everything can be done but first make your habit with software with tools with techniques with whatever you learn whatever you practice but completely always carry with you a simpler systematic uh, process or the uh, workflow which helps you to achieve those things and uh, for that stuff you need always uh, one thing in you in your workflow that is why softwares are giving such primitives or such simple objects for us to start did anyone ask these things anyone to their teachers or something why always we have every 3d software or any 2d photo editing software why they have some basics tools or basics uh, objects or elements or shapes or else uh, three, uh, primitive objects in 3d why do we have and this is because we can start simply we can practice ourselves but not to practice uh, first how to create chair that's not a practice that's not a first step or basics of learning yeah uh, i've set my render engine in cycles in and uh, my default setup of resolution is this we will change it later and uh, let's continue with the uh, our discussion yeah so i was saying uh yeah do follow the cursor i will i'm trying to discuss with you so we can keep focusing on this and also we can create our uh, artwork and also we can discuss something uh, let's do raise some points so i will clean this scene by uh, let's see i show you see i'll press n and the pop-up comes out and here i need a shortcut to use so this is a shortcut it will appear whatever i will type on my keyboard that will be appeared and then i can work with so you can follow these options too so select a uh, click a to select all and then press x to delete yeah so i was discussing that why do we need this primitives and all why do we have this so, so simplification of uh, a point of our, our own workflow is use such basic things which already is not needed to focus while you start in school, in our school, in our own time or every nowadays, every student who is just starting to learn something like to write, to read, they need some tool, they need some medium to learn or to learn how to practice, nothing else. For that, after practice or while practice, while learning, they understand what is the meaning of it. But before that, how the person can understand what is the meaning of it? For that, you need few steps to do first. School always say how to hold your pencil, how, how to write A. What are the turns and what are the strokes they don't teach what is the meaning of a why because it has been hiddenly feeded inside while we try to uh, write a letter a we keep practicing it that time the understanding is being feeded inside us in our mind that is a for apple a for apple a for apple but we are learning how to use tool we are learning how to use pencil as we finish that learning automatically we come to know okay something some equation got feeded inside my mind this is a and this is the use of it, A for Apple. That's the way. 
So this is the same logic. If I'm using box plane to create anything, but that's not the reason how to do something by box or by plane. That is the technique. But how to use such tools which can help me to do everything by any object. That's my tool practice. So I should need to understand first what are the tools. Then I will practice them and while that practice, I will learn how to create few objects or some objects which are simpler to me to learn quickly, in deeply and with reasons why I am doing this process, why I am doing that process by ourselves, discussing by ourselves or practicing various techniques to model it a single object. And then we step forward to the more details, more creativity, more types of artworks. So this way we get experienced, not by working under someone. Experience means you know all the aspects in few time period of whatever you do daily or you practice daily that is experience but experience till that if you keep practicing that experience is half because that practice that learning that 50 percent experience should be executed should be used in the practical uh, workflow and after that that experience completely gives us the hundred percent tag that this person knows this person has the experience to create how uh, to create background wallpapers that's that's the way I, I understand. That's the way I teach or I explain others. So let's continue with this. Today I'll make a uh, daily use project. So a product. So what I will do, I will use this plane. Let's have this way. Let's scale it. Let's have a control R and cut this. Okay. Now I will use some. Okay. Then. Yes, this is good. I think this is good. And uh, let's have so what I'm doing here. Let's have this. Okay. And uh, okay. So, what I will create this manually. Take the H, E, Y. Okay. So what is happening here? I need here to be perfect. So. Okay, so first of all, handle this. Okay. This way, I am setting up little. I guess this is enough. Now take these edges. I think I need to remove few edges, but let's have scale little stretch. Then now edges. Let's select these edges. Control B. Let's put this this way. Let's have this. Okay. And now take these edges. Now here we need something. So what I will do? I will select this. Uh, I will use uh, snapping options and uh, Shift D G. Okay. Select these vertex and uh, let's have merge and select these. Let's switch off this. And GX and position it. Okay, now this seems right. So let's remove it. Now we can use this edges. Okay, now E. I think you guys got it. What I'm trying to do. Yes, I'm creating a comb which we can create as a we can see it is as a daily product so let's have few things here one control r one control r then this one and then this one of course this one i am keeping giving an extra edge so i'll be selecting this vertex gy little then I will have one more cut here. Now from here till here, 
I will create a, I will set it a relax press it and position it so let's snap for this gy good so I think this is fine now let's relax this and uh, I will try to set this around here and now these vertex okay now select all and uh, shift no shift uh, select all and i so i can inset be careful while doing this inset control g i mean uh, press twice g on keyboard and you will get this option to drag on according to your other edges this is done now let's remove this edges this vertex select these and uh, again snap on g x and level it g y and level it so this will be exact let's have now mirror apply it um, go to object mode apply it okay now let's have this a little length because i need yes after this right click and relax again to make it a little roundish okay control b twice g okay now i can select these and again i'll say relax this is fine i will use this edges little carefully before that i need s g uh, s and x and uh, making this curve fine then so what i will do i'll select all control uh, shift and alt and click to the edges and then again do a little relax see it gives us this so i don't need this part of relax i need internal relax keep doing it twice thrice so whenever you need some bevel edges which we need it here so we can use it so this is done now let's check the scale the scale is intact so this is good i need again to delete the side why because i need to give some segments here try to use less divisions less segments use the edges or the loop cuts on the correct position where you can get the exact curvature or exact smooth edge uh, with less supporting edges while you use a uh, subdivision surface so now okay and uh, going again slight scale fine and then again mirror apply that mirror now what i need a solidify modifier and use let's split it i will use zero and use even the thickness and uh, i will i think this much thickness is good and uh, let's apply and now by site we need to settle so control r sorry select control edit mode and control r so i will use here one segment okay and control i so this is my selection and here i'll just right click let's try okay going good so let's do one thing scale y okay and uh, scale x and see it does something so this is not possible so what i will be doing uh, yeah let's have a little pin okay now let's have this pin this part of course we need to be scaled down in a curve
okay now let's select the edge outer edge let's have shift uh, i mean uh let's have alt s and then try to set this way okay and uh, now select all again i'll say right click and relax okay see i guess this is enough to create a nice set and uh, let's have a top view so we can say this might be good so individual again scale again s x Again, SX. Okay, now I need a little less length, so I am readjusting this. Of course, I will need to rearrange the edges, these edges. Okay. what we need a good curve so i will use this i need this part to be curved little this way see here you have an issue we cannot do that but it's okay we can handle those so now let's go side view let's have this edge control b this but i need this to be straight enough so scale y zero this has been straightened up let's say g and travel here again try to scale set now control b done this and then again this part scale it only on z axis okay come out here and then select this edge select this edge control b yes control b again and this you raise it up this way so now Let's have a look on this comb. See, uh, solid uh, subdivision surface, and then shade smooth, and you have this nice and perfect comb, I guess. So now what? What we are doing with this? We need uh, a background or something, and uh, let's have a name, comb zero one. This will be earth abstract then let's create let's have this rotate and then let's apply these also control a apply rotation and uh, now i'll create a plane for my background so same as control a for it then scale press a to select all uh, edit mode scale and this way let's have it a little bigger I think we need it a little bigger. Control A, apply scale. Now this will go a little back, a little further, somewhere here. And uh, I'll create a camera. Okay. Now let's adjust this. This will be BG. So let's apply it, set it to BG collection. Set this to camera collection and uh, let's have work started so first of all i will create lights so i can work with so let's check we have all prepared already so control s to the file what i'm saving this is the file we saved now we don't have any problem if we lose our current file 
so we can jump back again so keep habit of saving or saving incrementally means if you have saved right now a file name um, abstract background 01 now after a few minutes you worked a little further and then if you save it then you save it by name abstract background 02 then next 03 04 05 make it habit of saving incrementally in interval of 10 to 30 minutes 10 to 20 minutes something which helps you if some steps is gone wrong and then you don't want to go undo and to the backward where it was started the mistake was started better that doing it instead of do uh, uh, take a previous file again open it and continue from there so it will be better so let's start first lighting i want one single i will use single object to light and then we'll texture and then we'll create a scene so i need right now area light i'll push it up and uh, let's have a disk format 10 of course 5000 or 500 let's have a camera and scene okay this is the camera let's have increased by 2500 for right now let's create a light this will be pg i need a background little mat and then this one i will create a wood material not completely not extreme realistic wood material but i'll try to do it say wood so now let's have a light concept little better so let's save it scale it and then increase it to 10000 so do this first then shift not that shift i need this rotate to be one to here one to here okay and uh, again shift t but this will be found here okay let's have this this by 20,000 this by 20,000 this by 15,000 and uh, no this should be 10 this will be in front little okay now this should be okay and this one is 15 and next should be yes next should be from top but little bigger size like 50 or 75 or 100 i need a bigger size i need 25 nice good angle and now we can play with it let's save it so let's create a wood first of all select this press twice r on keyboard and rotate it randomly so we can see other details while we texture so let's start with let's create shift a in shader editor and search for you can say wave textures okay if you have you uh, if you have switched on your add-on called node wrangler from preference uh, preferences then uh, you select the node and control t and you will get this two nodes set up for mapping and texture coordinating so here i am selecting generally it gives uh, generated you can if you have used unwrap for this then you do that if you have used uh, 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 if you don't have any unwrap in your object then better you do this i have both the options in this why because i have here uh, I made this from plane so if we check ui it's correct or not select all we have a simple edit now what we want to do if we want to set our ui map then select these edge just only these edge and uh, right click and mark seam for that i need edge selection mark seam select all and in viewport go to uv and unwrap 
and check so this is not a good unwrap of course i need a straight angle so what i'll do i can use smart uv see what it gives but it breaks many part of object when i use q projection it gives me good but somewhere it goes wrong that is this one so if i say i can adjust control l let's have it these are different those are different many stuffs we have so select these control l you can go with this select these control l but one thing we won't be able to manage at once so this is not so easy so better we do something with a correct way so what i always do now so let's reset this okay now what i do i always do edges so let's remove this edges right click remove seam i take these edges for a while then mark seam after this i need a different cut so for that cut what i will be doing uh first of all no need to cut anything just only thing is this is the corner so select it and uh, i guess you can select these corners but no need of select these now in here you don't need to select these extra do this yeah and wrap now select all and okay one more thing you can do let's switch off this subdivision surface and uh, let's also reset the angle go to wireframe let's switch on this yeah now here i need only this segments this segments which will help us more correctly this way you should figure out what edge what corner should be selected as mark seam and you should imagine or you should experience two three times by unwrapping it and you will see that what outcome you get after this uh, doing uh, such steps whatever you see after unwrapping whether it is useful or not so what is your judgment what is your uh, uh, assumption you try to achieve is it correct or not for that stuffs you should try and error try and face error no try and error that's the wrong thing try and face error and then you get the experience what you want i click mark scene so the seams are ready select unwrap see no mess it's done perfectly now one thing i need to do select all pack okay now these i don't know how we can manage but these we need to rotate vertically horizontally somehow so how the lines the wood lines will be going so i think wooden lines should go this way so according to that these stuffs also should be rotated so let's do one thing let's scale it keep positioning it one by one and uh, select these control a rotate it 90 degree the uh, select again control a reposition it and now control a control l sorry no a control l okay now uh, reposition it again control l select control l and yeah so now here you see that there is overlapping we face but uh, that's not the reason that's not the issue we can manage those uh, overlapping doesn't affect your uh, this thing but it those overlapping should be on the such position where literally it won't affect so that's uh, that's stuff you should remember or you should understand see like this root it 90 i need this line to be followed now let's select it set it okay let's see just we will see by uh, ue uh, how it gives us the work let's connect it see we have it okay this is the object way this is the uv way so now we came to know that this shouldn't be issue let's connect it let's connect it see the fine fine process we got it so now what uh, 
let's create the wood so first of all i will do the detail i will use and use a distortion uh, now this this is enough then detail okay roughness okay let's have a color ramp but see the unwrap is not so effective which i was expecting which i was thinking so what i can do now what i can do two things i can do first thing i will use this uh let's have this edge here scale z straight okay then uh, let's make it little realistic control b very tiny and then control minus to select alt s push it inside right click mark seam now again we can do the selection we have this right let's unwrap it see what we get okay so fine now what i will do i will create two textures and create two textures let's have this to be arranged so here what we have this is not so exact i need to bend this or i need to straighten it so i'll use this part okay i guess this one is straight so let's do this and then edge to base select this right click all the active chords these are done but the reason is this goes destroyed so that's why we can't do this but we can keep rotating it and arrange it by straight line so this way you can do something uh, i'm not ready to set it i can grab i can relax i can do this so let's say what we can do here relax i can pinch i can grab so if i grab it see it goes this way so these stuffs are different i don't need such thing so what i will do now i'll rotate few things upside few things downside so these two these all we need in a control a rotate 90 or rotate to 190 this way Let's scale it little i'm not doing this deliberate i mean not doing this willingly to select and do it let's uh, let's uh press first then control l minus 90 let's have this here that it let's have this to be here it doesn't matter what and how we are doing it okay let's set aside this let's keep this okay. so now i can create two woods one zero one and next this one so let's create a sign so what i have assigned i selected polygons plus then i will assign control i i will assign to wood 1 see done now same to this wood okay click wood 2 okay so if the wood 2 is such and uh, wood 1 is okay so now let's add a noise texture if we do it here it gives us different variation let's see uh let's go to wood 2 and shift a wait a minute i'll just arrange this shift a search noise texture drop it here it will get connected itself and majorly you got your wood okay you have such designs but i need a little perfect let's have the scale this way and the less distortion or more distortion but i need size and scales to be perfect 
okay a little these again no distortion here you need it and uh, detail i can reduce it i can increase it let's put it such okay now in here i will do such a y scale value 0 0.05 okay and then i will use shift a vector node vector math and i'll put it here i will set it to scale and i'll use here 0.5 so this is my wooden texture one now i mean two and uh, i need same thing but i'll do some basic changes so i'll select these two copy jump in here paste it drag and drop here drag and drop here okay so now what i need uh, these to be on 150 a little this way and this to be 0 0.25 and scale to be point uh, 2.5 see we got it now let's create a light dark combination color so i'm not coloring this wood here this color ramp i will use mix rgb shade click it connect this to factor make it multiply give a color like something dark now check out which part you need see this part should be dark so how we will do i need this here i need a lighter version here okay so it's not so let's copy this let's place it here paste it here this is correct but now i need uh, nice and easy details so this should be too dark and this should be a little valid okay so this way we can do something now i need one more noise texture so control shift d copy i need one more color ramp control shift d copy i need one more uh multiply so shift d and place it here and uh, disconnect it by control click it here let's control shift and left click to this so we can see what is going on so here we have such divisions so i think this mat uh, this uh, mapping we can't use it so we set it one okay so now what i need all major details so i will use these and then i will use it to 1000 and then i will scale it that is 0 0.05 now i'll scale it again that means 3000 this is okay so now i will connect this to here let's check it okay so clamping let's mix this yes now let's check this okay i guess this is fine let's use the colors a little more perfectly so it gives us a little little woody work woody color now next one this let's have this setup copy or let's go directly to there and create rgb what if we use this way and Now, what if we use this in such way? It doesn't give perfect mixture or something. It gives only this way, but two black and two effective options. So what I will do, I can use one more color shape between and let it make it ease. But here I will use Musgrave. Let's put that. I don't think it gives us correct Right, let's remove the wave let's remove this let's connect it okay mix it see what we get so musgrave is a little different so let's reset okay and then noise texture to it 
it gives us more different work so many stuffs we can do so let's do undo and whatever we had we to go with that we don't need to use much grave we can handle this with our way okay let's have this point five have this point zero zero one no it's too much fine i guess this is fine so now the color what if i say change the color a little so it won't work so i need to do this here then i will use uh, drag drop and i will change i no need to change but push it a little darker this way okay so i guess this is fine let's have this eight seven five okay now here i will do uh effect so what should be the effect here first of all i'll use bump node connect it here in normals of the principal bsdf then connect the this uh, color ramp to height of the bump and then see you see so now point one and point five but this is going something reverse so let's say invert it this is fine and now let's have same in the in here roughness shift a again use a color ramp drop it between on this line connection okay now you try to set the roughness such that it goes with a good balance see this is fine we can reduce our little polish look now same thing i need here so copy jump here paste it let's arrange this so connect this one here connect this one here connect this to normal bump to normal and uh, this mix to height let's check it here now here we need a little gloss to see the effect okay now i need a color to manage reduce it to little light okay now what i need these i can mix it up this is good see so 0.5 is good then uh, i can also handle these but i need more then i can go with uh, 250 or i can go with 500 this is fine let's push this to 0 0.005 let's I think this is enough and uh, I'll give here 0.5. I need little details here, but not invert. So this goes out. So I need an invert. This is fine. So now see the issue of UE is this. Now what if I do. Okay. Let's set this. All to 1. Okay. And uh, I need to change that see how it is okay so i will change it by this by 500 this by 100 okay let's see here we got it that means we just need to understand the scale so 250 and this will be 50 this should be 25 and now i can play so this doesn't work so this will work no not this not now let's first kill this part okay Let's do this. Yes. Here it is. But okay. And uh, I guess this one also. Let's try that. Aha. Yes. So this will be 0 0.05. And then I will use some scale that is 5. This one is for 50. It gives this point of 2.5. So now here I don't need any wave texture. I can use this. We have this go for 50 or 500. Okay, and uh, here we are trying to manage this. Yeah, this we got it then 
it's done already now let's handle wood 2 i'll remove it from uv2 i'll set it to obj uh, i mean object let's set this one let's set this all one set this to 0.5 so i'm not getting anything else exactly so five then five now we can figure out what we can do so here i need uh, 2.5 okay here i need 2.5 that's okay this is fine this is all is fine only thing i need is 2.1 okay now these two five and done so this was it so let's arrange now okay and uh, of course i need to uh, set up the lights increase few light angles so here i will use now 40000 or oh, let's make it 50 lights are enough to understand so no issue this one this is fine with 20 that is okay let's have this way put it 40 And this to 0.5 scale uh, specular this also 0.5 specular and select this now rotate okay 50 rotate 50 50 again fifty again Fifty again. Fifty again. And this one. Then again, few. Then one more. Now, keeping this exact, I'll position it. Shift A to create empty. Okay. Now let's arrange this light in uh, light collection. Okay, then empty in camera collection. So this, let's give it a name. Two, three, four. Give always your objects proper name and uh, order because so you can find or you can select easily. That's that's needful. You should do it now. Here, let's give the name camera D O F empty. Okay, set up this camera. Go here. Switch on the depth of field. Click here. Click it. Then point one. Okay, this one will be somewhere. Perfect. Let's put a light one here. Put one light here. And one light would be X zero Put down. Set this to zero zero and uh Five. 
and uh, you can also control your color correction here by curves you can set up color management but i don't use it much here so save let's set this for render okay my camera setup and uh, here selected let's set this to be a good preview while render and so here we made a daily product okay, and presented it in a, in a simple wallpaper style uh, background style and here we have uh, used two textures procedural texture of wood like dark wood with different types of wood not same wood and uh, we arranged it like all the this hopes of the product are being thrown on air and uh, they have just flying in the air and we are focusing on one single product and just are in, in a blur tone this way we are working we work on this track so here i think i need to focus on this area to lighten up so let's press escape and let's see what we get for that so what if i reduce the size of this or better do one thing we'll do spotlight reduce the size radius okay so we arranged this have it exactly near okay and we'll try to spot it see the spot you can see the blend you can see the size of it so i will increase here again 40 see so what i need i will need here only 30 and i will blend it i will increase the radius but i need to position it a little close okay rotate it sit here let's keep this little this angle and uh, let's have a little white okay and reduce it to 20 better we go with 10 and now we can widen it up this is fine let's go up i think this is enough but let's put a little further to make that angle a little correct soft not so much i should get this okay so this is fine i will reduce this i will set this here but these two yeah that will be fine and uh, i think this is correct save it now i will render it by the time i render might i will be uh, setting my mouth because sometimes it disturbs uh, we can't focus what is getting rendered sometimes it happens so here we got our render done you can see how perfect it's it is so one thing i need i will uh, set a little less lights let's have this 10000 Let's have this one 10,000. Let's have this one also 10,000. Okay, and uh, so let these be 40,000 or something. Uh, this one is okay. This one I will keep it 20,000. I need an angle. I need an, this to 10,000. Okay, this is now fine. Let's render it again. Okay, so we got our output. Let's have wave it. Give it a name. okay done so this was the today's 3d abstract background uh, this is not completely abstract but presented in a abstractive way or you can say a little creative way now the thing is how we can use our daily products to create our own business to get more such clients those who are uh, in uh, those who are tagged as small scale uh, businessmen or manufacturers and their existence on digital world is just equivalent to the the bigger 
gamers bigger people bigger businessmen like uh, manufacturing car or like car manufacturers or like interior or uh, architectures these are the stuff which are also needed as an assets which are also needed as an product to visualize their company uh, 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 for their company uh, daily items which are sold in multiple designs multiple uh, ways so the such things also can be useful for marketing by the people who do uh, manufacture who do produce such daily items daily use items or products which is also useful this is the business this way we can present any product so that's that's all uh, we'll i'll see you on next tutorial so that's it for now and take care do like share subscribe uh, i think i don't need to say every time because if you love the tutorial if you love my teaching if you love my artwork so it's nothing formal now it's all like a family thank you so see you on next tutorial bye for now